Hey everyone, Leo here with another episode of um, Digital Track, right? Today we're going to be talking about making the most of Google Maps Explore feature, um, something that you as a business owner in Solano County, right, Fairfield, Vallejo, Vacaville, uh, should be taking advantage of, especially if you have a uh, restaurant business. <clears throat> Because obviously a lot of people are searching for stuff on Google, and um, one of the things I could be searching the searching a lot is obviously restaurants, places to eat. Um, so if you don't know what uh, Google Map is, basically when somebody searches for something, right? For example, uh, I like using I gotta call one of the places I work with, right? So you could be searching for for this Google, right? And uh, search for I gotta call, and then Google obviously will bring searches based in your location, number one, and other things, right? Like, for example, if you uh, have posted pictures on Google about it or if you have posted reviews about it. Um, but also, obviously, you could be on a map on your phone, right? You could be, so this is what Google Map is talking about. Mm -hmm. Right, right here, making the most of Google Map Explorer feature. So Google Map, right? Sometimes you could be on your phone looking for a specific place. For example, I searched for a catacol. Or you could be searching for just simply restaurants near me or Mexican restaurants near me, uh, etc. Right, and so a list will come up, and that's where you. Uh, that's basically a Google Map, right? Basically, Google bringing you information about it. Now, this is something that either you can do is free to do you or you can pay somebody to do it for you as business owners oh um people if people like your place or your place is very popular somebody's gonna open it for you okay so might as well that you take ownership and open the the google my business page for your business simply because then you can have control over it and we're gonna be going more about it in a little bit but <clears throat> google map is one of the most frequently used apps on smartphones just think, about, just think about the way you use your phone right if you are looking for something think about uh, okay think about any time that you were searching for something if you have a smartphone or even if you have a computer at home uh, think about it the app the little app for google map if you ever use it and how you use it now if you haven't used it i mean disregard that right but perhaps you could you you have seen family members you have seen your kids if you have kids or younger family members you probably seen them use it all the time to find answers to things or to find places so google map is one of the most frequently used apps on smartphones with over 1 billion active monthly users so uh, just a billion under facebook uh um <clears throat> but facebook i think is daily the Explore feature can be a great way to get your business in front of the UI. So Explore is feature, I think it's talking about this uh, right nearby uh, where people are exploring different things. Um, so it says over here, recent updates, by the way, this is from an article from Manta. Great articles. You should go and check them out. This was recently released on September 18th, oh, just today. All right. So it says recent updates to Google Maps app have shown that Google is making an effort to compete with review sites like Yelp when it comes to providing recommendations. Instead of simply showing what's nearby, Google will start making recommendations based on user likes, dislikes, and habits. So as you can see, now Google is making a push for <clears throat> taking information, taking information of you as a user and giving you the best results possible as what they think that you're gonna like the best. Right, just if you go to the explore section. Now you could be uh, boosting some of that, um, in some of your advertising on Google to have a better chance for more viewers to see you or more users, Google Map users to see your business. So uh, that's something as well that perhaps you want to keep in mind. How do you can use uh, Google to? Uh, to advertise your business so for example if I go to Google uh, Maps and then let's say I ser I'm search I'm gonna search for I don't know let's say restaurants let's see if there's any doing an advertising mm, nope nobody doing advertising but every now and then you'll see on the very top, you'll see our results there. Um, 
people that are actually advertising on, on Google. And so a way to uh, skip all this, of all the work of having years of presence and coming up on the top of the results, you could pay Google to come up on top of the results. Um, very affordable to do compared to being on TV uh, or radio. Uh, so it says, since Google, since Google Maps is one of the most frequently used apps on smartphone, smartphones with over 1 billion active monthly users, these new features can be a great way to get your business uh, in front of new eyes. What's new? As the most recent updates, Google has updated the Explore tab to provide personalized recommendations. So I don't have it uh, in here, right? Because obviously I'm not using a phone, but check up your your phone. As you can see, here is a picture there. Uh, let's see if I can make this bigger. Um, so it shows you a picture, right? This is usually what it's going to look like on your phone. And as you can see, there's explore options. You explore restaurants, coffee, attractions, so on. So on your computer, it could be what is similar to uh, to the tab that says nearby. Um, and that's what it has search for this area. So that's kind of what it looks like on a computer. All right, let's go back over here. All right, so then it says, um, and they have even more advanced updates in the works. Currently, the app provides you with personalized rating base and how much it thinks you will like a particular business. So if you tend to rate Mexican restaurants high and pizzeria low, it will know which style of food to recommend to you uh, when you're browsing your options. So you're probably asking yourself, how is it going to know that? Uh, well, a lot of times you could be on your phone and um, a lot of people do this, right? A lot of people will um, find your place and upload pictures of your business and even put a review of your business. A lot of people do that. And so based on what uh, that person, specific place, person, let's say I go to uh, a restaurant, right? And so, for example, I recently visited a, a Thai place. Um, by the way, let me pull it up right here. Um, oh, how about I do a search? Uh, what's it called? Sam's Thai you seen one of those two or a restaurant okay so let's try the restaurant Sam's Thai restaurant and as you can see I I, I like the place so um, I love the place so much that I wanted to help the the business owner by putting a review and uploading pictures right because obviously uh, the owner is busy they're not gonna be uploading pictures all the time um, and that, think about your own situation if you're going to be doing that all the time. So I've loaded some pictures. These are mine right here. Um, as you can see, Leonel Calle has. And so um, this, by the way, you should try these ones right here. Uh, they call beef jerky, if I remember correctly. Um, they, they're great. So it's full of flavor. Um, but this is what I did, right? I went and, 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 and uploaded pictures and provided a review just because I like the place so much. And so that's how basically people do it. I, I do this, I do, I did this for my phone, uh, similar to this, for example, if I find, uh, this place over here, right? Academy of music and I go into it, I'm going to give a, I'm going to get an option to add some pictures if I want to, right? So for example, it has a little camera over here where I can add pictures, and I can provide a review if I want to. So that's how they do that, right? That's how people can, um, that's how Google will know um, what you tend to write high, rate higher or what you tend to, to rate lower just because based on your history um, uh, of, of what you have done as a user. And, and they all know because most of the time if you are, if you are on your phone, you are logged into a Google account. Uh, if you are a Google account, a Google phone user, uh, iPhone users could be as well. Like me, for example, I have an iPhone as well, and uh, uh, I log into my Google accounts. Okay, so you can also narrow it down to the specific type of restaurants like bars. Yeah, we already saw that, right? But in order for your business to benefit from these new features, you'll need to be a proactive. So you got to claim your business listing. That's very important. Do that. Even if your business comes on the floor, comes up on the floor, 
people will likely pass over you if they can easily get information they need. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that your business is claimed on Google and that all of their your business information is up to date. Uh, update your hours of operation, your address, and contact information, but the finer details are important too. Make sure your business category is correct, upload recent pictures, and check that any links to websites and social media are correct. So what they're referring to, uh, the claim your business listing, is that there's Google has something called Google My Business, and this is, a, 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 again, another example from El Caracol, right? Uh, once you, you uh, claim your restaurant, you will have access to an interface like this one, Google My Business, where you can do different things. You can post things just like you, you can do now on social media. Um, so, for example, you can see, if I go to post, you can see posts that I've done for, for them. You can see uh, the, review, the, the views that they had. Right, you can kind of see what type of success they have, and you can even um, uh, take notice of that to see what things are, what people liking, or what things they're finding. Uh, if you go to home, you can see kind of what, how many views your business had, how many searches your your business has come up, how many actions people are taking. Right, perhaps they they uh, they click on the map, they click on your website from the Google search results. Over here, right? This are this could be actions like the address, um, check your website, check your phone, I'll call your phone from there. So those are actions. Um, so yeah, it, it's very important that you take advantage of all these. You can even uh, go and check the reviews from here, right? You can check all of the reviews and, and kind of manage manage them by answering questions that they may have, or or by saying thank you to people that provided reviews, right? So um, you can also have a, a uh, inside section, info section, where you can make sure that your hours are accurate, um, your phone number, your holiday hours, um, all of your links, uh, information about your business. So that's what they say about claiming your business and everything that recommends you to do here. Another thing that says is be vigilant about reputation management. So another important aspect of Explore Tab is that it's it displays your average star rating and displays previous customer reviews. Um, not sure if we can have, so not sure if we can see something like that here, but these are the, the ratings, the reviews, and in this image, uh, it doesn't come up in this image. But all right, be, be aware then, um, you are, right, your average star rating will come up, also this, it will display the previous uh, customer reviews. So if your business doesn't have any reviews, or if they're only left by unhappy customers, your business will be unlikely to appear to the, at the top of anyone's recommendations, uh, right? They like they will not coming up on, 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 on anybody's recommendation just because your business is seems to be this like. Um, while directly asking for positive reviews is generally against the rules, you can always make suggestions to customers who have had a positive experience, right? You could be at your restaurant, for example, and you could have um, them to, um, before they leave, you can tell them, please, you know, visit our page on Google. It will mean so much for us. Or visit our page on Facebook. It will mean so much for us. Post pictures in there. We always coming up with prices, right, for people that do reviews or, or post pictures to it, upload pictures on an Instagram. So you can do things like that, right? Um, so it says over here, be assured to update and maintain good reputation management practices. If someone leaves a negative Google review of your business, you want to respond to it appropriately and in a timely manner. And I know this, a lot of business owners struggle with this, right? Restaurant owners, uh, from, from personal experience, right? The people that I work with, um, they, one of the things that they tell me, the first thing they tell me is, Leo, I work hard in my business. I appreciate my customers, right? And, but in, in Sometimes they could be doing great, but sometimes I receive notifications that uh, of of something that happened, right? A bad review, and that totally stresses me out. That totally brings me down. For even though we uh, we had a good, great day at the restaurant or at our business, great sales, but one little review, you. You could have thousands of great reviews, but one little review, I know there's a lot of business owners that affects them, right? It gets in their mind. So they give me to handle a lot of that information. We 
you know, obviously we we'll talk to the business owners, coordinate, okay, how do we handle this? How do we handle that? And, and that creates a, um, a proper business procedures to how to do the reputation management for you without you, the business owner, uh, having to be in the front lines, checking everything, every little message, every little, little negative message, right? Um, so that helps them a lot with their time, with their uh, uh, mind, right? With the being in the right mind by not, you already have, they already have a lot of problems going on in the restaurants. You know, why add another one with the business? with the online presence but now they understand the importance of having an online presence because obviously you want to be as many places as possible where your customers are where your preferred customers are so they understand that so obviously they're not going to turn that off the ones that i work with um but it's something that has to be dealt with right like for example you are there as a restaurant as an owner um and in many instances, you don't have a, um, a, especially in the beginning, you don't have a, a way to pay for a manager. So you have to be there facing their, the issues. If an issue comes up, you perhaps are in the kitchen and they ask to talk to the manager or the owner, you probably have to be the one making the decision how to fix that for your customer, right? Obviously, when you get to a point where you can have um, people managing that for you, then obviously that's a different thing. But still, you still always got to be responding to somebody, even if you have to get to a point where you can pay, pay somebody to manage your business. It could be other much more difficult things that may come up that obviously will require your attention. Um, be sure to adopt. Okay, When you put the right of effort forward, you'll be able to attract new eyes to your business and obtain new customers with the Explore tab. The Explore tab is almost like free advertising. It puts your name in front of people who should member who should members of your target audience. With Google devoting time and resources to improve their recommendations and incorporating into it such a popular app, you'll find it worth it your while to make sure your business page is optimized and maintained. Now obviously don't disregard, right? This is a great organic way to put your business on the map. However, don't disregard advertising. Um, it is so affordable to go to Google Ads and start putting little videos on YouTube uh, and then start to continue to advertise to people via different websites um, as well. Don't forget to how affordable it is to uh, do use Instagram or YouTube and, and, and advertise on those platforms as well because sometimes you need a, a little push in some instances, right? Um, not everything that you post is going to be seen uh, all the time and so that's where a little push comes in, right? You got to do a mix of a little bit of everything. Um, but obviously, don't rely on advertisement so much, uh, only and purely. Uh, so that's it for today. If you have any questions, you can feel free to contact me, right? 707-410-0307. This is my cell, so you can text or call uh, an email. You can reach me at uh, info at digitaltrack.co. Uh, this is my website. You can come to digitaltrack.co. Um, also, if you want to know how your business is showing up online, um, I can get you a no obligation analysis report. Just complete your information when you come to my website, and um, we'll, I will process the request for you. If you want to know more about me on a personal level, you can connect with me on Facebook. Just search for Leo Callejas. Uh, on Instagram, you can search as well for as well for Leo Callejas and on LinkedIn, uh, Leo Callejas. So I hope this information was helpful. Again, we we're just reviewing, right, making the most of Google Map, Maps Explorer feature for your restaurant in Solano County. All right, have a great day. Bye.